Belarus is a key Russian ally, and its territory was used to help launch the invasion of Ukraine last year. Meantime, the Ukrainian counteroffensive against Russian forces has begun. Ukraine says it has made some gains in the south, but Russia disputes that, saying Ukrainian forces have suffered heavy losses in the last 24 hours. For more, we have once again reached Daniel Bilak. He's a Canadian-Ukrainian lawyer who lives in Kyiv and is a member of the Territorial Defense Unit. Thank you, Daniel. We appreciate your time today. Thanks for having me on your show. We have, of course, spoken several times throughout the war. Before we get into the counteroffensive, and of course we do want to speak about that, I do want to get your thoughts on what we were just sharing there, some of Vladimir Putin's comments about nuclear weapons in Belarus. How concerning is the threat? Well, look, I mean, putting them in Belarus or putting them uh, 100 kilometers uh, further back into Russia really doesn't change any sort of uh, strategic calculation as to their use. And secondly, they, there's been no indication, certainly the Americans monitor this stuff carefully, that, uh, that they've actually been moved. 